G'day guys, Marcus searching for adventure and I'm with my partner Ali and we are on our way to pick up our new caravan so a pretty exciting morning we've been waiting for quite a while and uh, because of the coronavirus lockdown and everything it was delayed so on our way up to Yatla and we're picking up our brand new on the move series track series 2 off-road van it's a 20 foot 6 in length and it's the family bunk option i think this anyway we're pretty excited it's all registered it's all ready to go we got the call a few days ago and um, we're all set so it's going to be great because we're heading off on our big trip down to victoria next week so it has just arrived just in time so anyway let's keep moving and let's get up to caravan hq and pick up our new caravan All right, here we are. We're at Caravan HQ, picking up the van. guys so we're here at caravan hq and the guys are getting the caravan uh, all hooked up and set up for us so um we might say good day to kevin the uh, owner here it's uh, kevin hq shortly but it's going really well um, had a Kevin and the whole team here have been just fantastic. Um, the communication's been awesome and we're just so excited and happy with the van. So thanks Kevin. Thanks, well. Have yeah. fun. Enjoy yourself. G'day guys, it's the next day since we've picked up the van at Caravan HQ with Kevin and the team. And we've now got the van back here and I'm gonna do a bit of a run through now of the, um, the On The Move Track Series 2 off-roader and have a bit of a look through the van and show you what we got. And um, it's a little bit overcast today and has been raining, so it's not beautiful conditions, but it doesn't matter, it's only rain. So let's get into it and have a look at the, um, the new caravan. Rightio guys, we might start just here at the front of the van. So as I said, it's a, uh, an on the move. Um, Trax Series 2 family off-roader. The standard size is the 18 foot six and we increased it by two feet. So this is the 20, it's a 20 foot six in total length um, of the van. We did get the extended drawbar on the front. So um, yeah, let's get it underway. So at the front here, We've got the DO35 coupling, handbrake at the front, extended drawbar as I mentioned. It's got the breakaway here, so this here uh, attaches to the back of the car. And then if for some reason that the um, caravan did come away from the car, that will activate the brakes um, on the uh, caravan. So you can see there it's the Elco ESC. Um, also at the front here, this is the um, inlet for the safety dave rear camera you've got your cables here so there's three cables there's the standard 12 pin flat then there's the uh, red anderson plug and that is for the stability control that we've put on the van and then the gray anderson plug um, is the charging plug so there's a 30 amp charger in the van so putting in 30 amps as we cruise along when the motor's running in the car. Two nine kilogram gas bottles. 
and then we've also got two jerry can holders probably use one for fuel for our generator if we need to use a generator we have bought a generator second one we probably won't use at this stage no need for it but if we do maybe go more remote that we can use that for whatever but this first trip that we're doing next week is down to victoria and it's not going to be too far off the beaten track down the front also we have a, a hot and cold water tap if we want to use that for whatever reason we can do so or toolbox on the front draw bar as well and in here we have a generator slide we have bought a um, 2.2 Honda 2.2 kilowatt Honda generator and that'll slide out but there's also extra storage in the other side of this toolbox that we can utilize I think we've got this locked so you can access that from the front as well uh, the jockey wheel and I think that's about it for the front of the van uh, like all caravans it's got the four stabilizer legs so this caravan doesn't have a window at the front what it does have at the front is plenty of storage so there's a full length tunnel boot right in here that's probably about 350 mil by 350 mil and the full length of the van so about two and a half meters deep so probably a good spot for fishing rods or something like that then down here there is another storage compartment that's about six uh, probably 700 mil high and about 400 wide so quite a lot of storage in there and then there is a third storage here that's quite wide it's about 650 wide by about 500 high and on the other side there is our ziggy barbecue which slides out and um, I think tucked in here is the uh, is that um, breakaway system that's where they've located that guy come along here Australian made of course built down there in in uh, Melbourne we've got the uh, 15 amp power coming in there and there's also like on most fans I guess there's an exterior uh, TV point if you're at a caravan park that's got TV point in our van we've got three 100 amp lithium batteries so plenty of storage probably too much it's overkill but if we do do any free camping we've got 300 lithium sitting down here and on the roof we have 680 um, watts of solar that's the vent for the uh, hot water surface I think as I say new to caravanning my first van so I'm just really learning about all these systems and things so some fairly aggressive um, all-terrain tires I think they are about um, look I don't really know what the uh, specs are on them 16 inch rims down below here we've got uh, the water tank fillers so we have four tanks in this van this one tank at the rear is the grey water and just on that pipe there we can have that closed off say for example we're in a national park or we don't want the water sullage coming out we just turn that valve off otherwise we can put the sullage cable on the end of that little guy and run it into wherever and then yeah there are three more freshwater tanks underneath got the uh, cruise master g35 independent suspension cruise master xt apparently it's the good stuff but once again i'm not an expert and don't really have any real clue so the rear of the van here is where the bunks are located inside and the original 18 foot 6 truck series 2 family van actually had another storage compartment uh, in here which was probably four or five hundred deep it was quite big we eliminated that to give more space for the kids inside the bunk 
Okay, around the back, we've got um, two spare wheels. There's the rear camera. And then we come around to this side. As I said, it's raining today. Um, I've pulled out the, it's a Dometic awning. I've pulled it out just a little bit to give myself some protection because really this is the first day of, you know, we only picked up the van yesterday. So yeah, first day of um, getting the pan van packed. A um, Couple of outdoor speakers in here is the airbag suspension system. So that's pretty, pretty cool. So to um, level the van east to west, we can use the airbags. And I've got a little key fob that you can use to lower the left or lower the right or make them higher or whatever. So that's pretty simple. There's also a TV antenna outlet there and um, 12 volt for your TV a bracket for your TV and some 240 sockets. And then also too, there's an outlet here, just uh, if I wanna put air back into these tires, if I've let them down, I can actually use the uh, compressor in the van and there is an air tank in the van as well. I do have one in the car, but that's always quite handy. Down here is the, um, where all the business goes. So that's the uh, toilet cassette. I might do a, like a more in-depth review once we've used the van. So after this first trip down to Melbourne and, and around, we're going to do close to 4,000 Ks. I'll have a bit more of an idea of how everything has been going and working. So around this side, there's a couple of, um, couple of lights. There's a light up there. And there is also a light located here which is quite handy because just below there is the Bobs Down. This is a Ziggler barbecue or Ziggy. That clicks out. The good thing about this is you can actually lift this whole thing out if you did want to and not use it with the van. Maybe if we were gonna take the car out away from the van, we could throw it in the um, back of the car and have a small gas bottle. Otherwise, we just hook up to this gas point and then you can see through there, it runs right through to the other side. That lid comes over. That's going to be super handy. I think we'll end up doing a lot of cooking out here. And then this is the other side of that tunnel boot that we saw from the other side. And then that's the other side. So we're back to, back to the front. So as you can see, pretty, pretty excited about the van. And um, today's Saturday, the 12th of December. Picked up the van yesterday. And um, I'm pretty excited to get all this stuff that you can see there. That we've um, got ready for the van. Get the van all packed. And then, um, then we're heading away next Saturday on the 19th of December. So. We were hoping to get the van a little earlier, but because of coronavirus, as I've mentioned before, things went into lockdown. But the great thing is we got the van before the holidays, so that's pretty good. So I was hoping to do a bit of a shakedown trip, like a weekend away. I didn't really anticipate doing a, you know, a 4,000 kilometre trip for the shakedown, but anyway, it is what it is. And um, it's um, probably maybe one of the best ways to get to know your van, just do a big trip and um, find out all the uh, pros and cons. Anyway, let's go inside. One of the reasons why we chose uh, Caravan HQ and, and in particular the on the move van was just the quality of everything on it. So just, you know, just, just everything, the windows, the door hatches, um, the locking mechanisms, um, the quality of the, uh, the awning, nothing's flimsy about it whatsoever. So it was probably, and it wasn't the cheapest van, there, were, there are cheaper models to buy. Um, Jayco's are cheaper vans, um, and there are other yeah, cheaper vans, but 
So we did pay a little bit more for this one, but it's more of a custom van in my view. So as we come in, we've got the north south bed, so it runs long ways. So the 18 foot six Track Series 2 family off-roader has the bed the other way, and that's how they make the van shorter. But we wanted this north-south option. Just makes it, I think, a lot easier getting in. That's my side of the bed there, and then Ali is on that side over there. So it just makes it a lot easier to get in and around. So that's what we liked. Main roof hatch, and we added a secondary hatch. So that can be opened up for airflow, obviously. There's light on it as well but we just wanted that extra, extra hatch above the bed um, while we're down this way. So on each side of the bed, we've both got our own reading lights. There's a little USB jobby in there. We've got our own laptop pouches. And then in here, down in there, there is uh, USBs and 240. And yeah, I just think that's a great design to have that beside each um, each person here. There is also space here to hang shirts. It's not massive, but I don't hang clothes anyway myself, but so plenty of storage, a little table and a drawer. Gee, that's actually quite long. Yeah, so really, really good quality switches and buttons. We did upgrade to, I think, what they call the black pack. So it was a little bit more expensive to get these type of fixtures than the standard ones. But you just notice when you open up all these cupboards, just the quality of everything. Nothing's flimsy. These struts are really tight and firm and yeah, there's just, the cabinetry work is pretty Mickey Mouse. Really Mickey Mouse. Everything's even. So there's the four cupboards across the bed there. And then on Ali's side, it's exactly the same. How great's that? Big window each side, opens right up. These things are fantastic. So you can have the window open, have the window all the way open, and you got the um, midi mesh, but also, let's say you just wanted the window, yeah, halfway, you can bring that up, give yourself a bit of privacy on that lower half. I think it's awesome. Um, we've got a few Sirocco fans, you know, there's one there. I think we added this extra one there. Um, all, while I'm up on the roof here, this is the um, the antenna for the TV. This here is the Dometic um, positive pressure dust thingamabob. So that's obviously if we're travelling on dusty roads, that'll um, give out positive pressure inside the van and hopefully, um, you know, reduce the risk of bull dust coming inside the van. And there's like a little hatch there's a filter you can clean that just sits up there so I'm interested to see how that works when we do finally get sort of off-road above the door here there's another little pouch up here to put whatever looks like there's a smoke detector could be a carbon monoxide detector as well I'm not sure there's lots of LED lighting there's the TV microwave I'm not sure of the brand NCE but once again, everything, the cabinetry work is, you know, is Mickey Mouse. So the kitchen, once again, we went that black pack option. And these sinks and the mixer is just really, really good quality. Razor RV. I'll have to Google that. Doesn't matter anyway, it's all very nice. Underneath, there's a little range hood. Turns the range hood on, there's lights, there's 240 here. We've got the um, three gas burners and the one electric. Electric, you need to be plugged into 240, I think. Um, and then the um, it's a gas oven, I'm sure, which we probably won't use that often. 
I think we'll use that Ziggy barbecue outside under the sink so that's obviously the hot water heater down there so a bit of space and then there are four drawers you can see that it's brand new we've got all the um all the uh the manuals and bits and pieces here we go on the move we're on the move down to victoria pockets there down around this side um, we've got the couch now the original uh, track series 2 18 foot 6 has the kitchen on this side and has the couch on this side and the couch is a lot smaller we swapped it around and it's given us a larger couch we have lost a bit of storage space but the less stuff that we take the better because we are got quite a heavy van so we don't really want to take too much in the van so the kitchen is a little smaller but that's big enough for us um, above the stove here probably we've got the nerve center so it's a projector system that runs the van and then we've got hot water there's electric and gas depending on what we want to use once again i'm no expert and over near the door actually is the um is the uh, touch panels for the projector system so we turn it on here there's a 2000 watt inverter on board as well for our 300 amp lithium batteries to use so if we want to use the um, the air conditioner which is up here we can just on batteries a bit of Daryl Braithwaite happening anyway um, so this is the projector and it tells us what we've got in terms of the uh, level of our water tanks tank one two and three are all 100 percent tank 25 is that gray water tank i haven't done too much research yet on this system and don't really know it 100 percent but it's just trial and error i'm just reading things as i go here but i can see i've got it plugged into 240 it says a grid and that tells us the charge of our batteries we're at 99 percent and i'm sure on there it will tell me somewhere um how many amps i've got coming in how many amps I've got coming in through the solar panels if we're not um, on 240 and it'll probably tell me how many amps we're drawing as well which is handy little cupboard above another cupboard above once again all these gas struts are really really strong so plenty of storage up there for I'm assuming probably use that for pantry lightweight pantry stuff and put all the heavy stuff down below keep all the weight down low all the cocoa pops and wheat bix will go up here there's plenty of um plenty of led down lights that's the dometic air conditioner and geez it works a treat starts right up it'll start on the inverter even off uh 240 which is great won't be able to run it too long um as we come down the back this is a dometic i think it's a 220 litre fridge freezer so we did want the biggest fridge really possible i have got a fridge in the back of the car which will probably keep soft drinks and some some beers and whatnot but um i don't know i try and go a little bit overboard if i can with everything in the back here is the bunk option what we did so the original design if you ever go and see an on the move track series 2 family bunk van there'll be um, this bed will start about another 500 higher and there's storage underneath which you can access from this side and you can access that storage uh, from the outside as well but we've got two teenage kids 15 and 13 and look you know if we are going to be on the road we're not we're not full-time caravanners here so we're only going to be on the road for maybe two or three weeks at a time but i know what our kids are like they're going to probably want to at times just sit down there and do whatever so they've got a little bit more headroom so we've probably given them an extra 300 mil headroom the height from here up to here oh geez without a tape measure i'm not 100 percent sure but it looks to be about 900 um even close to a meter maybe not quite a meter but the, the head height prior to that was yeah pretty low for the kids. So in the kids area, they're both the same. They've got the uh, laptop pockets in the corner. They have um, 
240 volt and also the light which is 12 volt and 12 volt sockets they've got their own Sirocco fans their own window and also which is pretty great that's all they need for their clothes for a two-week trip or a three-week trip that's it and um, at the front of the van that bed does open up plenty of storage under there so we'll probably put shoes and other bibs and bobs there's a little ladder to climb up to the top then we come into the ensuite so pretty compact in the ensuite because we added a little washer machine and it is tiny it's only like a two kilogram washer machine but it will be handy just to wash the socks and jocks and t-shirts and shorts i wear clothes probably too many days in a row than i should so there's the little dometic toilet and it is tight when they if the toilet actually swivels around and it is a little a little bit tight but the toilet swivels and you do get enough headroom to sit in there but look hey this is all the luxury once they get in here we've got the black sink the black tap which is pretty nice um god there's even 240 volt power back here there's 240 volt power everywhere so on the move just do a fantastic job when it comes to lights and power points and under the sink here there's not a lot of storage um this actually is the recessed area for the airbags and the uh the tv points outside it is normally located back here behind the kitchen but because we customized the van somewhat we had to uh, lose a bit of, well lose the space under the vanity there which is not the end of the world for us there are two overhead storage compartments here then the shower this is really unique it's got a fairly deep base about 350 mil you could almost fill it up and have a bath and once again got the black finish there is a vent and lights up the top <laughs> so that is pretty much the van i think that's about all um more 240 and 12 volt sockets obviously you know these tables move you can have that to whatever configuration you might like so there we have it so there we have it guys that is our um on the move tracks series 2 family off-roader 20 foot 6 van and um once again a big thanks to kevin and janine at caravan hq um you know difficult time because it's been very busy for the whole caravanning industry and uh, a lot of people buying caravans so yeah they just showed some pretty good um communication throughout that whole time and and uh, and obviously um on the move uh uh down there in victoria um i spoke and dealt with uh, lenny the uh, owner of on the move on a few occasions regarding the build and yeah mate a really top bloke so everything i can't recommend on the move and um caravan hq enough to be honest so anyway that's our van i think that's about all i'll probably show for now and um yeah as i said next saturday the 19th we uh, are off on our big shakedown trip big shakedown trip and um looking forward to it and we'll see you then